campsite back there. Didn't know that. Uh, it's got a fly on my ear. That's the thing. Blood on my face. So this is now the run down to Cop Lane, the actual climb itself. It's really rather hideous. I think it does something like 23%, which is absolutely just stupid. And it turns and it winds and it's narrow. Quite Flandrian. In fact, these lanes are quite Flandrian. It's in narrow, uneven. Got mud all over them. But you know, this is what we have to offer as England, I suppose. Or Harding Light, at the very least. So when it gets to this point and it starts getting narrow, you know you're getting fairly close. Uh, this tent, evil this is. And um, I might encounter some horses coming up here. Yeah, it's nice and quiet, but if uh, you meet anything coming the other way, it's a bit awkward. And as you can see, I've caught this car up, but he did rather rudely overtake me earlier. In my opinion, at the very least. And this is it. Fucking nice stone chip there, bit of water. Here we go. Ah, there's another car behind. That makes it a bit more awkward. So there we are, finished. The descent into Ardingly Reservoir now. And uh, then we go up the other side. Nice and steep, fairly straight bit. And to top it all off, they've put this crappy, crappy road surface on, which pretty much ruins it now. Wait for the pub. Trying to keep all my momentum, but there's a horse. So that's part one of the Arding Live Reservoir's done. Or the Arding Live Triple, as I've just coined it. And we've caught up with this one. Hey, nice, lovely arses there. Horses, horses. I don't like horses. It does make you wonder, what would be quicker up there 
that climber in particular, a horse going at full chat, or a cyclist going at full chat. Now, it's uphill, so I think it'd be fairly equal, that. I reckon, yeah. Wouldn't like to say he'd win, though. Uh, this is quite narrow and dangerous and uh, steep, so you should probably have both hands on the bars, covering the brakes, because there's a particularly nasty right-hand 90 degree down here. All your weight over the back of the saddle. Yeah, you've had a, seen a number of incidents on that corner. Then another 90 degree left under here. Again, big easy as I tend to term them. And begins another torturous ascent. With a nice flat bit of course though. This bit here. And normally around this corner it's always down without fail. Always. Oh yeah, no, see, told you, puddle, car, great, oh god, it's bloody down, down here, oh joy. Let's go in the dry bit to not get any wheel spin. That's quite a violent shift, if I do say so myself. So this will take us out into Balkum now, in about a couple of hundred metres. Or maybe a hundred metres. My uh, estimated gun hundreds of metres is a bit off, I think. And that was a weird noise. Nice. Uh. And that's it.